Hello, peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna, the spiritual love healer. Today I want to talk about when is it time to um, upgrade your vision. So first, let's talk about what vision is. Um, vision is, there. it's your dream, it's your goals, it's the way that you want to be, what you envision for yourself, where you see yourself, the life that you see yourself living in the future, right? It's those those dreams that you want it's the and maybe sometimes it's what you set out or what you wanted to do when you were younger but life may have taken you on a different path or direction um, your vision that's what I consider your vision it's your dream it is the um, I forget the word but it is like the grand coming together of everything that you desire that is your vision when is it time to upgrade your vision? First and foremost, if you don't have one, then that's what you need to do. Um, one of the things that I always ask um, my clients or anyone who has a consultation with me is, what is your vision? Oftentimes, um, people don't know. They don't have an answer because they never really sat down and thought about, well, what do I want for myself? Who do I want to be? Where am I going in life? Um, for a variety of reasons, right? So that's where I always start. What do you desire for yourself? What do you want to do with your life? What is it, right? That can be scary, um, especially if you've never really had the um, the rain or the range to like even really think outside of your current circumstances many times um, how we were raised our upbringing and the different things that we experience can limit our vision if you only grew up in struggle then that to you is probably a normal way of life and you may not be thinking outside like hey I don't have to be in the struggle mode I can have healthy relationships I can be financially stable um, so that's why visioning is hard for so many people because we only know what we know, right? Or we only see the reality that we can physically see around us. And this is why, like um, with my girls, uh, I always try to travel. I encourage my oldest to travel as often as she can to see new places, to experience new things. Because the more that you can broaden your horizons, the more you see is available to you. The more you know, like, hey, there is so much happening outside of my zip code, outside of my state, outside of this side of the, the coast that I live on, outside of this country. There's so much more to life than most of us are able to explore and experience. The beautiful thing about social media and the internet is that we can go and like explore and research and look up other places and things if that's something that you do, but oftentimes that's not really how it's used for the most part. I will go and explore different places. I have researched almost every state in the United States because I want to relocate. And there are specific things that I, I want where I live. So I go and I research and I look and I'm like, okay, well, what is it like in Colorado? Could I live in Colorado? There's no beach there. That's very important to me to have access to like a coastline where the ocean meets the earth. So that's, that's a little different for me. And there are like lake beaches and things like that, but I'm like, mm, can I do that? How does that feel in my spirit? So, I was like, okay, well, I could move, right? It doesn't have to be a forever thing. It could just be like, I go and experience living there for a couple of years, like who knows? Um, and then there's always the adventure of like being able to travel and go to the beach, right? So there are so many ways to expand your vision without necessarily having to spend money or to leave your home. But the key thing is to have a vision and create a vision for yourself. What that might look like could be different. It depends if you like creating a vision board. That's a beautiful thing. You can create a virtual vision board. You can gather up all of your pictures, quotes, um, cards, whatever else, all of the, the creative things, markers, pens, ribbons, keys, whatever you need, and get a poster board and paste everything on it. 
you can write it out. Um, have a, uh, I don't have it here, but have a um, vision book where you write out what you want to experience in your life. Inside of my journal, I have a list of like all the things that I want to accomplish. And every once in a while, I'll go through it and I'll be like, oh, I did this. I'm like, oh, I'm working on this one. This one's almost here. And then it's like, oh, I also want to do this. And then I add to it. It's long. It's probably, it's, I know it's over 100 things on that list right so we always want to expand our vision like when i learn about new places to visit i'll put it there i want to travel to this country i want to see the mountains in italy like just whatever comes up right i want to experience it i'm going to write it down these are things that i want to accomplish these are things that i want to do so if you do not have a vision first and foremost it is extremely important that you get one and a lot of times why that's hard as well is because we don't have clarity we don't have clarity we don't know who we are there are so many dim different limiting factors whether it's beliefs whether it's attitudes whether it's behaviors just different things that make us feel like this is it this is life and it's not going to be any different i want to challenge you to think outside of your current circumstances to think outside of your friend circle your family circle think outside the box right if you had unlimited time unlimited resources if there was no problems at all you could do what you want when you want how you want with who you want what would you be doing let that sink in and give yourself I would say like a, a week to like really like think about it as you go about your day like okay would I be going here every day would I be driving this car like how would I carry myself what kind of work would I be doing? Who would be in my circle if I made it, right? So you wanna to start to really think about that. Let that sit in your spirit, like figure it out. And it might be that you think about when you were younger, what are some of the things that you used to tell yourself that you wanted to be or to do or to have as a child? Often those dreams were like, the, those were, that was like our soul speaking. Like, these things are important to me. These are the things I wanna experience. These are the things that I wanna do. And then as we get older, we disconnect from that vision because teachers tell us we have to, we have to do this. And our parents tell us we need to go to this school and we need to become this profession or we have to get a job and we have to work and this and that. And then we forget about the things that used to bring us absolute joy. Start to bring some of those things back in. For me, art is one of them, painting, creating art was and still is very important to me so that's something that would that continues to be on my or in my vision right um what else so yeah you want to expand your vision so i shared a post because i realized all of the things on the two vision boards that i created have been accomplished so i had two well, there was more than two, but I had two main vision boards. Um, and as I was going back and looking at them, I realized like I have accomplished everything that I have set out to accomplish. It's time for a new vision. And this time it's like completely different than anything else. Um, so my first two vision boards really was focused on like healing. It was focused on my money. It was focused on learning different skills and um, different ex things that I wanted to experience. So one of the things on my vision board was, and this was like from a long time ago, like 2006, 2007. That was probably one of the first like vision boards that I created intentionally. And on it was, I wanted to do the um, crystal certification with Hibiscus Moon. And every time it came up, like I would put it off because, you know, life, I had other obligations and this and that. And this year I, I signed up, I enrolled in the program. So I will definitely be complete with that probably in a couple of months. How freaking exciting is that? And then that got me going back and looking and I'm like, wow, like I have completed everything that I've placed on this vision board. So not only am I able to like look back and see um, how these things unfolded, how long it took me to manifest these things, right? 
Um, and then the most recent vision board that I created, what, like two or three years ago. So I have learned lots about um, what I like to call vision keeping um, and really holding space to manifest what it is that we want and the things that can get in the way, right? Which at the end of the day, it's only us. The only thing that can truly stop you in life from being, doing, having, whatever it is that you want, it's you, it's us, it's ourselves. Like nobody else can truly stop us. Yes, maybe when we were younger, our parents was like, oh, you're never gonna be anything, or a teacher told you that you were stupid, but it's about what you believe, right? So if you believe that you're never going to be anything, chances are you are not going to be anything. If you believe that you are stupid, chances are that you are gonna operate in that energy thinking that you're lacking the mental capacity or the knowledge to do what it is that you wanna do. But if you believe, if you truly believe in yourself, if you truly believe that you can have whatever it is that you set your heart and mind out to do, you will go out there and do it. You will go out there and do it. Now that's not to say it's, it's gonna just be easy and simple and quick because my journey to um, becoming all of the things that I wanted to become, it was not necessarily easy. And there were times where like my vision was put on hold or put on pause because other things came up in life. And so I'm recognizing the power in truly focusing energy, truly, um, and learned how to like set boundaries. And now I'm at a place where if it does not prioritize my peace, my rest, my money, or my family, I don't have space for it. I do not have space for it. And that's a truly beautiful place to be. And I say my peace, my rest, and my finances first, because if I am not well, if I am not okay mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or financially, I cannot show up for my children. So it's important for me to be restored, for me to be renewed, for me to be at peace, for me to be happy, so that I can mother, so that I can show up for my clients, so that I can show up in my life and in my business, in my work, full on and ready to go and ready to be of assistance to other people. So when you have absolute boundaries, and it took me a long time to, to realize, like, I didn't really have boundaries. Um, and that's a whole nother conversation, but I didn't really have boundaries. And that can be common for a lot of us who are like over givers, or maybe you learn to become a people pleaser if you grew up in a toxic household, or maybe, you know, we're not given, what's the word? Like, like proper love and nourishing, or just the space to be a child. That's what I'm gonna call it. If you were not really given the space to be a child, then chances are you grew up very sensitive very much um, always trying to accommodate others at your expense to keep the peace because there were consequences, you know, if that was not the case. So it's very important that you develop boundaries to protect your vision, to protect your energy so that you can continuously work on cultivating that vision. Um, having someone, I know the saying like um, move in silence and that is important However, it's even more important for you to have someone to hold you accountable for your vision so it's just not you because it's easy for us to like, you know, psych ourselves out or be like, oh, I'll get that done later or, you know, I can't do this. But when you have someone to hold you accountable, when you have someone who is supporting you in creating the vision for yourself, it's different. It's different when you have a little bit more support behind that. So having someone to support you in that, connecting with your vision on a daily basis is so important. Every morning that I get up, I think about what it is that I'm calling into my life. Place your vision board or a journal or however you decide. And these are things that we'll probably explore later, but you wanna have it somewhere where you can see it or you can create a totem of your vision board. So I have a crystal, this isn't it, it's somewhere else, but I have a crystal that I have infused with the, the energy of my vision, with my intention. And so I will carry that crystal with me 
Um, I will meditate with it. So when I touch it, it's always, it's a tactile reminder of what it is that I'm creating, of what it is that I'm calling into my life. And so for me, that's a lot more convenient because I don't want to carry a giant poster board around with me where I can just carry this crystal and it's always with me. So that's another thing you want to make sure that you're connecting into your vision. A vision board isn't something that you just put the pictures on and you sit it down and you think it's just going to work. You have to work it. You have to work with it. I like to think of a vision board as an altar, right? And an altar is something that you tend to. It is a, a sacred, um, it within itself is a sacred space for your vision. That's like just one step in bringing your vision to life is putting it in, um, in a 3D form where you're able to see it. And then when you're able to sit with it and you start to visualize yourself in the vision, living out the vision, that just amplifies it even more. When you start speaking affirmations about your intentions, about what it is that you're manifesting, you amplify it even more. You start to align yourself with people, places, things, situations, and circumstances that are in alignment with that vision. And you start saying no to the things that are not of that vision. So if you, one of the things that you wanna manifest is a healthy relationship, you're not gonna allow yourself to be part of an unhealthy relationship. You're not going to settle for something that's, oh, well, it's, eh. It's, I mean, it'll do, no. Like you said that you want to call in this divine soulmate, this divine love. So you're not going to just settle for any old thing that's just um, wanting to give you a piece of the vision. Like that's not it. So again, that's where boundaries come in. Um, and like knowing what it is that you want, when you know what you want, you can say no to what you do not want. It makes it so much easier and your no's become so powerful and they become so sacred. This is one of the things I think that's very important because a lot of times something will come in and it may kind of look like what it is that we want. Like maybe you want a house, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, like this house, like it's great. It's got the space that I wanted. It's got the lighting. It's got, it's everything. And er But when you start to look at it, you start to see the cracks in the foundation. And you're like, mm, like this looks nice. It would do, but when you settle, that comes with, with issues, right? So we don't wanna settle. Like if it's not the perfect thing for you, then do not settle for it. Patience, practice patience and give yourself space because when, when opportunities come up that could work, but it's not really, eh, it's like a, eh, if, it's, if it's not a yes, it's a no. If it's not a yes, it's a no. So start practicing saying no. An opportunity that is truly for you, you cannot miss. And you'll know within your soul, within your core, like this is it, this is it. But oftentimes when, when we are wanting to maybe manifest something or create something out of desperation, what happens is something similar comes along that looks like it and it's like, okay, I'm gonna take this first thing because this has gotta be it, right? But it, it's in um, actuality, it's not always the thing that you should have been um, been waiting for in, um, in essence. So th those are just a few things that came to mind as well as I was talking about when to like upgrade your vision. So I talked about if you don't have a vision, if you've already manifested the things that you set out to, to manifest, right? If you're living your vision. Um, the other time it's time to upgrade your vision is if you're not seeing any type of movement on your vision. That's not to say to give up on what it is that you um, are setting out to manifest, but what that is saying is that, okay, um, maybe you've like set something so grand that you might need to, to rethink your vision and make sure that it's truly in alignment for you. Make sure it's what you actually truly want, okay? So like maybe your vision is you wanna, I don't know, swim across the English Channel, but you don't know how to swim yet. So the first part in like manifesting that, like maybe it's like, I'm gonna find a really awesome swim teacher who's gonna be patient and gentle with me. I'm gonna learn how to swim. I'm gonna practice swimming every day. 
So it's not to say that you can't still have that big vision of swimming the English channel, but you wanna make sure that you have like little milestone steps along the way that add up to that grand goal. Um, like you can't go over there if you don't have a passport. So that probably needs to be part of your, your manifesting process too. Is like, okay, I'm gonna put getting my passport on this list because I gotta get over there, right? So just really think about it. Make sure the things that you wanna manifest are the things that you want and not the things that other people um, are, you know, have told you that you want. Make sure you're not trying to manifest for society. You're trying to manifest for your soul, for your heart, for what speaks to you. Um, if you're not seeing movement on anything, also um, a, a lot of times our mindset, right? I talked about limiting beliefs, not believing that you can have it, believing that you're not worthy, things like that will uh, slow things up for you, right? So you wanna make sure that while you are doing this work, you're also affirming and you're shifting your mindset to expand your ability to receive, to open your heart so that you can receive, um, in order to really manifest, okay? So those are just some beautiful tips for you. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. I am really diving into more about heart expansion, more about um, unlocking your abundance code so that you can open up to receive the things that are meant for you, whether it's love, money, you name it. It's all a part of this beautiful heart chakra that we have. Um, oftentimes when we do not feel worthy for whatever reasons, whether, you know, our heart is, is kind of closed off from maybe past wounding, some sort of hurt, trauma, you name it, um, that can affect our ability to receive. And we keep thinking like you might take, um, two steps forward and 10 steps back. And you're like, what is going on? Like, I don't understand because that energy is not able to really flow as smoothly as it would like. But when we get in there and we do some tuning up in our heart chakra, the beautiful thing about this is that it is a bridge, right? So we have our lower three chakras, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, right? That connect up with our heart chakra. And then we have our higher chakras, our throat, third eye, crown. Um, and these are really like the manifesting chakras. These are like the where the, the, the inspiration flows and manifestation goes out. We have um, like the throat chakra is expression, our third eye is visualization, and um, the crown is about like connection with like source, feeling like the, the being connected to all, also receiving information. So if we are cut off at the heart, that means we're operating out of our lower chakras, and sometimes that can be out of fear, um, in our root chakra that can be out of emotional imbalance in our sacral and that can be um, lacking drive lacking discipline in the solar so having those three nice strong and flowing allows you to get into the heart space it allows you to really open up the heart and start receiving start loving giving and receiving energy in a very beautiful way that just translates and it allows um, everything to kind of uh, to complete itself. So for energy to flow through your energetic centers, nice and clear. So I hope that this um, has inspired you to revisit your vision or to create a vision. And I would love for you to share your vision with me in the comments below. I will see you again soon. Send you so much love. Um, you can learn more about me and the work that I do over at spirituallovesanctuary.com.